Good morning. It is Monday morning, and if you can see the chaos that is going on back there, we have an exciting announcement happening. For the month of February, we are going to be destroying and remodeling the boys' room that is going to be turning into the girls' room. That's so it's scary. Oh, there you are. There's your head. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can do it in 28 days. And it's going to be extremely challenging and probably stressful and all of that to see if we can pull this off. No but, stress at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it depends on who's the one getting stressed. It won't be stressful. So, we'll make it exciting. You know, it's, it's a pretty simple bedroom. It's a matter of just pulling everything out, replacing the window. Uh, the, the hardest part is going to be rebuilding or building a new closet in that room. That's probably going to be the hardest part. And of course, destruction is always the easy part. It's just putting it all together. And hopefully we can get this done in 28 days because little Lillian needs a crib. She needs to be able to move into her bed because at some point she's going to move out of our bedroom in the bathroom and into her own room and we've got just a lot planned for the springtime coming up with things outdoors and so this is really our only time to do this it's kind of crazy but we're gonna do it so hopefully you guys will subscribe stay tuned for this and see what kind of crazy mess we're gonna make so we don't know what we're gonna exactly do with this hallway here there's I don't think there's a whole lot we can do but it'll definitely have to be redone I'm not sure we're gonna include that in the 28 days our main goal is to do this room here we're gonna have to find a new home for our tech and map ceremony so we'll have to find a new home for these I'm not sure where we're gonna put them um, I, daddy's got an idea for okay he's gonna just take it's just gonna take a razor blade oh. and cut out the size of the map <laughs> and then transport it out. Maybe, that might work. Everything has to get gutted down to the studs in here. The window will be getting replaced. And then we've right got to pull the, as you can see, we're in the middle of pulling everything out, so it's kind of messy. But we've got to move the dressers out of here. We have a dresser there. The boys already got their shelves down. We've got another one dresser shelf. here. One shelf. Yeah. So this is going to be the room we're going to do. We're pretty sure all the electrical is already good in here because this used to be an office. We're planning on replacing the light fixture there. And who knows what else we'll find to do. We've got our work cut out for us. 28 days. Do you guys think we can do it? Give us a thumbs up if you think we can do it. We're going to need your encouragement to push us through this because I think this little lady's going to make it a little hard. Oh, you think it's going to be a bad yeah. It's for your bedroom. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to go put this little lady down for a nap and start helping Art and the kiddos. Today is the 30th of January and we're not getting started until February. But we are just getting ready. We're cleaning up the room and getting things ready to go. And we're gonna we're gonna try to get all of our supplies bought as far as we can see for now. So there's, I mean, the fact is we're gonna be doing this project probably pretty late at night, and a lot of these stores that we're gonna need the things are gonna be closed. Mm -hmm. So we need to plan ahead and make sure we have everything on hand as far as we can foresee. There's this little hallway to the room, and we're not going to do anything with this right now. That's another project for another year probably. And Janelle thought of an idea. Tell them about that idea with that board. I I would like to put our 28 days on here so we can kind of, this can keep us on track. And then I would like to also every night look at the progress and then make new goals for the next day, seeing if we can get everything done and on a schedule. Because I think if we have goals and we have you guys watching and sort of keeping us accountable, it's going to make us work harder, faster, and smarter. And we're going to try to do all of this on a budget. Uh, I don't even know what what kind of budget we should plan. I'm thinking no more than a thousand, but I don't know if that's realistic. That is realistic and we, I think we can do it. We have to buy the new subfloor. We may need to buy a little bit of hardwood flooring, but I think we might have most of that. We need to buy new wallboard, a new window, paint, probably some miscellaneous supplies, nails, screws, things like that. Um, hardware for the new closet and I think that's about it. So it's not a huge, huge amount that we need to get, but we definitely need to get it and we're going to be as creative as we can in getting those items.
The room looks pretty bad right now because we're cleaning out. This room was absolutely dreadful when we moved into the house 12 years ago and it hasn't gotten any better. On the floor we have a rug, but underneath that there's this nasty uh, fiber board. When we moved into the house it had some really ugly, stained, beyond belief carpet in here. Oh, that was really bad. It was terrible. Um, and what happened is one time John woke up he wasn't feeling good. A He's, TMI alert. Just yeah. fast forward the section if you don't want to hear yeah. this. If, if you're squeamish, don't listen. Um, and he threw up sentence. onto the floor and it was so much vomit. Oh, it was awful. I looked at it and I said, there is no way I'm cleaning that up. And I grabbed a knife <laughs> and I cut about a four foot section out of the carpet in the floor. And I just rolled it up and threw it in the trash. And then a few days later, I pulled out the rest of the carpet, and the f ugly fiber board is better than the carpet, believe it or not. Okay, but you have to re remember that I started with a stomach bug, and so I was sitting on the couch throwing up. Otherwise, I would have cleaned it up, and Art didn't tell me he was going to cut the carpet. He just did, and then he came downstairs, and I said, what did you do? And he goes, I just cut the whole carpet chunk right out, and it's going straight in the trash. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You just started another project. He goes, it was too nasty. So that's how, I guess, the remodeling started years ago, Art. Yeah, so how long ago was that? Four or five oh, years ago. Yeah, it's been five, a couple of years. Five. We've gone through a couple rugs in here, yeah. so. Well, shortly, right after that, we got a rug. This and one? And that was a different yeah. rug first, and then this one. So at least we had something on the floor. Uh, but it's been nasty. I haven't liked it nice. over the years, but it's been too hard to do any work on the house. We know how bad this is. We are not happy about it. This was on our plan to get done long before this, and we are happy that we're going to be able to get it done now, but we weren't happy with how this was, and I am happy that I can actually get this redone and have a nice on, space for charity. the girls. This is the room that we keep our maps in, and yes, we when we did our tax ceremonies, we tried to purposely avoid all the junk in here. But anyway, we don't have to do that anymore. But these maps have to come down, and we will hang them back up later. So, for those of you who like our tax ceremonies, uh, we will not be having a tax ceremony for another month. For those of you who are new to our channel, you might not know about our tax ceremonies. That's when we put tax in the cities of those people that we've heard from. And you can see we have quite a few right now. We want to always be real with you guys. We don't want you guys to think the house is always perfect. You know what? With large families, life can get crazy, life can get tough when you're on a limited budget. Sometimes this happens. You have to wait for just the right moment to actually do the construction yourself instead of hiring it out. And so I know a lot of people, a lot of people are, will be probably horrified at this. I'm horrified. I'm horrified. I'm, not I'm horrified. But well, we I'm want not. you guys to see the real side of life. And the good, life, the bad, and the yeah, ugly. Yeah, it's not always perfect. It's not always we perfectly painted, and there's no the holes in the wall, and my kids are perfectly dressed. That's not reality. This, this is reality, and we hope you guys can sort of appreciate and understand that we this is life. Rented. I was trying to see if Charity's bed would fit in here, and at the tallest rung, it's six feet, and I'm not sure how... I'm not sure how it's going to sit in here. I came home for lunch and we got the bed moved out, but underneath the bed there's junk. It, I know it's terrible, but that's yeah, the way it was. Harry. It looks a lot better and listen to this, it echoes. It echoes. Echo. 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 It, it does look a lot better than it did, but it's still bad. In the midst of all our chaos, Janelle was able to make some pumpkin soup <laughs> and Charity made some cornbread and we have some salad and other bread over there. Looks like it's going to be a good lunch. Yes. Daddy's going to rip out some drywall. No, I'm not ripping out drywall. I'm just have to take this off to see what's underneath it so we know what to buy. We'll probably go buy the stuff that we need tomorrow. Can I help you? Okay. Uh, maybe. Can Let's I see. get lower? Let's see here. No, no, John. John, yes. I don't want you over my head with a uh, pry bar. Please. Can I rub No, no, no. Yes? No. Settle down. I know it's exciting. And I'm not doing this to rip it apart yet. I'm doing this to see what we need to buy. Here's the hammer. Now I'm going to go back upstairs. You go, Dad? Oh, thank you. Okay, cover yours. This is loud. It's not that loud. It's totally not. Our kids are locked in that. You're breaking it. No, you're just pulling it apart from here. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, 
John, mm -hmm. you get the other one. Daddy, As I pry it, try to get it in there. Ready? Um, on this side? Yeah, just like that. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. But be careful. Don't don't let it slip. Mm -hmm. Okay, Grace, you need to stand back. Yeah, Grace. I'm almost in. We don't want you to get hurt, Grace. Got it? No. Okay, you only need to get in a tiny little bit. Here. Now, uh -huh. since Daddy's in, maybe you should use the hammer. Yeah, excuse me, John. Cover your ears again. You're cracking it right there. It's okay. I don't care about this. It's like two boards. It is. They. I think what they did is they wrapped boards around here. Don't ask me why. I just made the small doorway even smaller and covered up the old one. I don't know why they do that. But I'm gonna take this part off and see what we're working with, so we know what we need There's to do. There's nails in it. They did. They nailed yeah. it up pretty well. Yeah. That's for sure. There's Dad. There's, this story hasn't seen light for a good five, ten years. Dad, lucky. There's this plain old drywall underneath. I'm gonna rip out the whole thing now. Muddy. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Daddy's going to up here. I think they just made a small doorway, a, a small doorway, an even smaller doorway. Yeah, that looks good. And we just removed the first piece from this. Okay. Thing. Looks like real wood right there. I'm not sure what they did, but we'll have to figure it out. Yeah, I, don't, like? I don't know why they put these boards around this thing, but look at that. There's the original door jam. Yeah, it looks like it looks so nice. we just to pulling out these two boards, we have an okay. extra Whoa. inch and a half wide doorway. And you got and the thing is also, look, they had a dry bolt. Yeah, we'll take care of that in a little while. Stick a pry bar right there, please look it. I could probably break it if I put, if I put my foot against it far enough. Yeah, this is please terrible. Please look it, Dad, look it. What you can do, you can just stick a pry bar and go. <laughs> Looks like Daddy's a little busy with what he's doing. Yeah. Why would they do that? It's oh, cover up that. Is that an old, um... Great, great solution. Oh, it's an old door hinge. Maybe we can use that for our, our new door. This is fiberboard here, and I don't know what's behind there, so we're going to find out. You were ripping off that piece? Yeah, well, I need to know what's behind here. Uh, we'll try not to break it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Don't want to ruin the door yeah. frame. Yeah. Okay, so here it is. Yeah. Why can't you just stick it under there? But you know why? If you just stick it under there, it'll just make this bad. Use the, you'll... You're correct, Peter. You have to get it to that point first. Okay. Why do we have to worry about everything over here? This is what remodeling is. You yeah, don't really so remember this. Out of ripping out. Okay, kids, stand back a little. Stand back. Yeah, there's plaster under there. Plaster? Is that a good sign? Yes. Maybe that's how they covered up the plaster. Maybe. Don't break it. Don't break what? <laughs> this is fun. This wow. Is... Wow. I'm sorry. Is that I... powder post beetles? No, that was Dad, plaster dust. Just probably. Broke a little oh, I don't care. This, this one's bad too, so. That's okay if that broke. There it is. I can see it. I can't. So I think they just covered up the plaster. That's classic. <laughs> classic fix art. Yes, I know. Isn't that is easy? That classic? Easy? Isn't that easy? Isn't that really easy to just... Oh, well, we just have to patch up the plaster. You're an That's, expert at that art. Plaster's not that hard to patch up. Huh? That is well, you just, just like a door. I think that would be yeah. cool. Oh, look at that. It's actually not even in that bad of shape. Just a little bit of patching, and we got ourselves a nice wall. And Dad, look. This is just as bad, I don't know too. why they put this here. But they did. Oh, You're going to have to put the rest of the door frame around that, too. You know, Daddy's got the bit for that to create that. So yeah, so I'm going to make that. We'll make it work. I got home from work, and we just took down the boys' beds. Yes, and look at this, we have nice Z-brick on our walls. What Z-brick? Is this stuff. What? Painted what? over Z-brick. What? I wonder if 
they started practice up here for the kitchen. They might have. This was practice. Well, they didn't do a very good job in the kitchen either with the Z brick. <laughs> yeah. Janelle, tell them about the Z brick in the kitchen. Oh, the Z brick was awful. It was it wasn't painted over. It was just dirty Z brick, and you know how, particularly on the back of the stove, um, there's a lot of grease and splatters. Well, you can't clean Z brick at all, and so it had caked on dust and dirt on the back of the Z brick of the stove, and it was awful. And then. Somebody had moved the pot too close to the backsplash, and so it actually had burned part of the backsplash. So you had this big black spot on the back of the black backsplash by the stove, and then all this awful zebra. And the cu the cupboards were <laughs> oh, I don't um, that. like a forest green stained color. They weren't even painted; they were stained. And the cupboards themselves were actually in pretty good shape. They were solid wood, but the walls were this um, high gloss canary yellow. <laughs> and, you know, you just put it all together. Oh, remember those swinging doors that for the, for the washing machine yes, and dryer? They had the, um, they look like, what do you call them? Uh, louvered, Shutters. Louvered doors. Louvered, louvered doors. Shutters. Right. And they, the one, this, the right one never wanted to close no matter how hard you <laughs> it. Always so it always flopped open. <laughs> So annoying. And then, even better yet, the bathroom on the back section was another one of those louver doors. Oh, now he's got stuck. And, and they took fabric to cover it so nobody could see in while you were using the bathroom. <laughs> and they had this the floor where, where, where these fake wood tiles placed in front of the What do they call it? Tiles. Parquet. Uh, parquet. It parquet. Yes. And especially in the bathroom. And it was just. Off, 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 oh, oh, oh. That sounds bad for potty training purposes. It was, it was. Aussie Great Grandma was so work. was so good natured about using that bathroom because she moved. She lived with us for several months when she broke both of her ankles. And remember how good spirited she was. Yes. Getting in there, you couldn't fit a walker in there. You couldn't fit a. You couldn't fit anything in that bathroom because you had about this much room between the sink and the toilet. shower and then well the toilet had about that much room too. underneath the drywall tape there's some uh wallpaper it looks like well, look probably from the a farmer yeah, it looks like it's probably from the 70s and yeah. then under here there's a barn that looks exactly like our barn look at it maybe, maybe that's why they chose the wallpaper see 